So what's going on ladies and gents and welcome back to Spyro Reignited Trilogy. We are back here with another level, the last of the Dreamweaver's world. It's going to be the kind of boss level here and it's around that corner like if you come through from that direction. You go up here and let's enter Jacques. So on this level we once again have to do it perfectly, which means not getting hit. But it means not getting hit by the boss enemies or by Jacques. Like you can get hit by other enemies. So that makes it a lot easier. There's also a side achievement as there is for every level. And I will show you what that is in a bit. It is, in my opinion, one of the prettier levels, generally speaking. And we will just make our way through the starting area here, get collecting the gems. Really nothing too, too difficult here at the start, as with most levels. We're really just picking up the gems. really care about him. We do care about this guy. Whoops, that was bad. And we care about this guy. And we go up here. And from here we jump on top of this. And glide over here. I've actually lost quite a few lives in the test run. So we'll see how it goes. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Take care. Fun fact, I haven't played this game since August, September. Somewhere around, around that. But we have enough lives to make something happen here. We will grab the gems down there. Those are pretty easy to miss if you only focus on the guys up there. So make sure you get them. Now the achievement is to burn all four of those in one glide, which means you glide up there and when you kill all those, which we will try to do. One, two, three, four, there we go. That worked well. Not the easiest thing to do in the world, so... I mean, also not the hardest, but... Try to be careful, that's basically what I'm trying to say. Now you can make that jump, it's not an easy one. Please, thank you. We all know I'm not a fan of jumps. <laughs> Especially when, when I'm recording, that becomes very, very true. Uh, can we make that jump? I think we can, right? Yeah, that's not a problem. Um, and from here we get back over here, I think. Yeah, we should be able to do that. There we go. Sweet! So, now we get rid of these guys by running towards it and jumping into them. Run, 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 jump. Perfect. And now we run through those. All right, next step. We go back here, we burn him again. We go back here, we burn him again. Basically the same way we went to the left. We now use this to get over there. here and in here we see the key and some gems so be aware of that yeah we don't have the time for that okay all right now we will burn them again get up here and now go over here be careful to not get hit let's jump into him so far so good 
doing reasonably well. Once again, run towards him and then press run and jump into him. Again, so far so good. I think we have also picked everything up that we could so far. Now here is the luck chest. This is relatively easy to pick up. It's obviously right in your path. Now don't forget to take down the guys down here. You really shouldn't, they are pretty obvious. Getting the gems here. This is near the starting area where we already were, down here. Let's now take this. Get up there. And now we have our first encounter with our boss enemy here. Well, first we have a dragon, second. Any advice before this battle? Advice? Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Uh, huh? Now, I will say this, this battle, battle isn't very difficult, but it's still pretty easy to get hit, so be careful. Like basically, if you walk sideways, you shouldn't get hit, but once you're kind of stuck in a situation like that, it's incredibly annoying. So just keep moving and try to, to catch them out. Kind of like, like this. Just wait for them to, to shoot, keep moving, catch them out. And I just hope we don't get hit. Which is for the skill point. Now we go here, we wait for him to throw and make the jump. And of course we get hit. Great! Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, honestly... Let's do this again. The thing is, I obviously want to, to show the perfect run, so getting hit is not part of the deal. Damn it. It's obviously a lot easier when your jump works, which it didn't. This is working a lot better than last time. Let's just hope it stays that way. Like, it's technically not very difficult, but you know how it goes with things that are technically not very difficult. You just blow them anyway. There we go. There's the skill point. Due to the fact that the fight is done in kind of one small area, you can just die if you get it and redo it and then you still get a skill point, so that's pretty good. We have also done 100% of the level and as you can see, got the skill point, we've got the achievement, so that's it for this level, hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching and until next time, farewell.